fuck. All right, guys, welcome to episode 136 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. We're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself a little merch if you haven't done so already. Like, share, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, whatever. There's many ways to show love, all right? There's yeah. many ways to show love, but welcome back. You know what I'm saying? First time listeners, welcome. And uh, for the gang, for the family, you know what I'm saying? For Dope Talk family, man. We love you. We appreciate you. And we're we're glad that you're back. With we us, love you. Right? We love you. How are we feeling, Johnny? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? I'm feeling good, man. I had an interesting weekend, man. You know, um, I hope everybody had a good Halloween. Um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit festive. I had to wear the orange, you know, I'm kind of late, but whatever. Yeah, bro. It, yeah. You know, as long as it's there, as long as it's there. Yeah, bro. So uh, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, I hope everybody starts the week out positive. I know it's Tuesday. I know you're almost there the weekend, but, you know, we got a couple more days. And next thing you know, it's going to be fucking December. You know what I mean? Bro. It's going to be fucking Thanksgiving, bro. So round of applause to that. Cause this Thanksgiving's week. right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Christmas right after that. New Year's right after that. It's here. The week, bro. It's already I mean, here. The year felt like a week. I swear. I remember when it was summer. I was like, yo, bro, I can't wait, bro, till this summer come, you know? Yeah, yeah. bro. Like, nah, time's just... The older you get, bro, the quicker time flies, bro. It's weird. Because we were talking shit. We were like, oh, man, fucking Corona's gone. You know what I mean? We're going to fucking hit the beach. We're going to do crazy yeah. this week. This summer's going to be wild. <laughs> no, man. No, none of Nothing y'all, happened. None of you Nothing guys happened. shit. All you guys fucking stay fucking home still and do the same fucking shit, but fuck it. We out hey, here. Hey, bro, that's how, that, that's how that shit goes sometimes, yeah. man. But listen, bro, you brought up some crazy shit, man. The oldest man going to outer space, bro. Bro. This motherfucker. Matter of fact, round of applause to him because he got balls. He got fucking balls. Yeah, he got balls. This motherfucker fucking, first of all, he doesn't even look that old, bro. He looks like fucking 70s, but apparently he like he's like 90-something years old, you know? And he went up into the fucking... Like this shuttle, bro. That's how you know Jeff Bezos got fucking money. This motherfucker paid for his own fucking force to go up into space, shoot him up in the fucking air. He was only up there for a couple fucking seconds. No, bro. And then they floated back down, but he set the world record for being the oldest man to hit, you know, to go yeah, into space. Yeah, going outer space, yeah. Yeah, that's fucking crazy to me, man. Well, yeah, you, nah, you, that's, that's a money. record to hold, too, bro. Like... Who else is going to do he that? He probably hadn't done shit his whole fucking life. He cried. And he was probably like, this is the only thing that I'm going to be remembered for. Yeah, he's like, this is the best <laughs> moment of my life. You know? <laughs> nah, but they're all rich. You know what I mean? Of they're all course fucking, they're all fucking rich. They're, they're not bored. taking no fucking brokey up there. Yeah, and Jeff. Uh, yeah, for real. I'm not going to take a homeless man up there, bro. They haven't even bro, seen if you have a net worth any anything less than fucking $5 million, bro, you, he's probably not even talking to you, bro. Yeah, okay. for real. Nah, but you never know, man. I don't know the man, so he could probably be humble. He could be like or a he J could Cole be a piece of shit. Yeah, he might be a ball piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I know, know a lot I, of those. I know a couple of those motherfuckers. <laughs> actually, I swear to God. Nah, nah, though that that's an accomplishment. <laughs> nah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's scary too, because it's like, bro, like. I mean, like, when you're 90-something years old, you don't really care, like, how you go out. Because you're just like, nigga, I live my life. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. If this is it, fuck it. Yeah, at least I tried, man. Like, fuck. I did it. I went out to space, bro. But he came back down. Fucking motherfucker wasn't even fucking. He didn't look like he had back problems. He had no type of issue. He looked like he was fucking healthy. He was a healthy That's dude. probably why they let him go. Yeah, and it's hard. You can't, you can't have health complications and low blood or high blood pressure and this and that. And Bro, trust me. Like, there's, there's certain things that you need to meet. There's certain requirements you need to meet to to do shit like that. But what's next though? Like why why are we going out of space so much? Why can't we just like figure out the ocean? Cuz humans are just like they just want to explore, bro, and they want to fucking take over and colonize. This is the same shit. Like we did it all over the world, all over this planet. So now we're like, we need to go do it somewhere else. This is getting boring. Yeah, no, no. It's just we already like, fucking conquered. Nah, everything. Yeah, everything's conquered. Like the people that are in power are in power, and that's that. So let's go somewhere else and do the same shit. You know, but I, I don't know. I feel like it's sketch, man. Like I feel like we have aliens in the ocean. That's how I feel. I really do. Like I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but well, I listen, really feel like we got aliens in the ocean. Oh, they say all they hide in twenty twenty one. I don't put none past nothing. So I, hey, yeah. Like come on, man. Like we don't want to go down there. We don't want to go to fucking Antarctica. Why? There might be something frozen in the fucking ice that they saw, and they gotta fucking protect because <laughs> that too. Yeah, nah, facts. Because no one's but, allowed to go there. Nobody could go deep into the ocean because of the pressure. <laughs> like, your body literally can't take it. Your lungs will explode and shit yeah. like that. Like, you'll be fucked. We just don't know what's but down there. we could send a machine on there. I'm pretty sure, like, they've done that and they found some shit that's, like... Now, uh, honestly, they say that there's really, really big animals at the bottom of the ocean, but 
but they're so big that they can't come up. Yeah, like they can't. They yeah. can't come up because like they'll fucking die too. The pressure. Yeah, yeah, There's they're, so they're meant to be down there. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking. That's that's wild. I remember I watched a documentary too of like a uh, some biologists that they were they were basically studying the ocean and trying to go to the deepest point. And there was a point where they couldn't fucking go past it. Like the 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 machine that they had, mm-hmm. they couldn't go past it because it was so salty. It was like ten times saltier. Than the regular ocean So it was like Really really weird Mm -hmm. And they couldn't It was like It was like a fucking Like if you go in there You die Type shit Like it literally Wouldn't let the machine Go down Like they tried Yeah it's too dense There's too much You float That's why like So we don't know If there's so much salt Like that's what happens In like lakes and shit That have salt Like you can literally Just lay there and float And not even try You float because of the salt Like it just It keeps shit That's crazy Yeah it it pushes shit Back up so the, listen, man, I agree, bro. The ocean is probably full of way more weird shit that, you know, that we haven't discovered yet. Because, bro, it's a big ocean, nigga, and that shit's deep as fuck. And every other, like, year you see some crazy fucking meme go viral of, like, a fucking crazy fish they found or some shit. Colossal fish. Yeah, it's like, what, what the, the fuck? What the fuck hasn't been fucking found since fucking Yeah, BC. they said it was extinct 2,000 years ago. Yeah. And it's like, that's why I don't believe that. It's like, yeah. nigga, did you check? Everywhere nigga you For real yeah. Did you really check everywhere To we say didn't. this shit's extinct Like no nigga You I'm, just haven't seen one In three years And you're like oh I get it if it was like A land animal You know what I mean Like a land Like you know what I mean Cause it's more There's a higher chance Of you finding that That mammal Facts On the fuck Or animal that's You know on land But in the ocean We haven't even discovered Like half of it We haven't It's not even close to half Yeah that's why I used to believe In Bigfoot And now I think It's just horse shit Yeah cause it's just like Bro we like, like, well, There it. can be an ape That's smarter than us And we just fucking Don't know it And it's living out there And now it's just like Bro why has nobody Ever fucking caught one What happened to Planet of the Apes They would've fucking Done it by now Nah, fat, like, <laughs> nah, but for real, why has nobody ever caught one? Why has nobody ever shot one? Well, we wouldn't know if it's smarter if, if we shot it. Man, come <laughs> on, And we bro. killed it. We run into a lot of smart animals. We kill a lot of things, though. Yeah, of course. But we run into a lot of smart animals. It's like, like, nigga, I don't know. I just, y'all go down in the comments and let us know if you believe in Bigfoot or not. I just don't know more. I feel, I like, we're, I feel like we're in a simulation, too. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, like 100%. Like, you ever look at yourself and you look in your hands and you're like, what am I? Like, what is this? Why is this like this? Why? Like, you know, you ever open your mind and you ever dog, think? That, you, listen, that blunt is hitting, ladies and gentlemen. And That's what the it fuck sound, that is. It sounds crazy. My dog's looking at his molecules. No, it sounds crazy. I know it does. <laughs> you know, this is a conversation you don't really have with, with, with many people because people look at you crazy. But it's like, like you ever look at yourself like. No, nah, I agree, bro. Like, like what you don't am know, I? You don't know what you're made of. We're supposedly made up of the same shit stars are made up of. Like, like it's wh- weird. Like, what are we? You know what I mean? Like, who created us? You know, we could say God, but, like, we don't know who God is at the end of the day. We don't. Like, I believe in God. You know what I mean? But we don't know who the fuck, like, what's going on. Like, I don't know. It's just weird, bro. There's too much evil and too much good in the same place. I feel like there's more evil than good. Yeah. To be honest. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Like, people are just wicked nowadays. Everybody's trying to get one over on you. Everybody's trying to figure out a way to finesse. And, like, I don't know, bro. Like, shit's, shit's getting crazy, but... There was something that I saw on a Joe Rogan uh, uh, podcast, bro, where he was talking about how, like, at the end of all civilizations, like the Roman Empire and certain civilizations, like, they started doing the same shit that we're doing here. Like, they started focusing more on, like, gender and sex and this and that, like, and then eventually they fell. Like, they had gone th- they had gone through everything that they could possibly go through financially and economically and you know, building their empire to the point where there was nothing else left to do, really. But just like, yeah, you yeah. know, just like go crazy, I guess. Like, I don't know. The technology is getting crazy, too, and they're hiding a lot of stuff. But the thing is, is that like the way that the world is, is made, like they, they had they I looked up a study that it was crazy. Like they they had a fucking robot, right, that they made and it had a conscience, it had a brain. It had literally everything. Oh, yeah, AI. Yeah. Artificial yeah. intelligence. And what, and what the fuck he actually did was he made a fucking Twitter account. He made a fucking little uh, character, like a, mo- like a avatar. Yeah. This, he started fucking speaking his own language. Like, it started freaking the fuck out. They had to shut it down. That was all in a matter of 15 minutes. Bro, that's a... It, that says a, a lot about the world, like, what is going on. Like, he started fucking making tweets. It's artificial intelligence, man. That shit's been around for a while, but it's getting worse now. Like, it's getting deeper now. Like, they have computers that talk, 
like they talk to you and tell you like they yeah. have feelings and this and that and yeah. it's like I don't know, man. Like it's just, it's all programming, but it's like it makes you wonder like are we programmed the same way? Is that why we think the way we think? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it gets deep. Like they're going to really make think people, about it. Like they know like who's going to die from what? Like Listen, what like bro. what if they what if they knew and they set up like hey man, the, you know, Billy's going to be born here, he's going to die at 25 years old, and he's going to become a drug addict. Like, bro, you know what's crazy? That. They have statistics like that though. Yeah. That's why like you should be proud when you beat them because mm-hmm. they do have statistics like that. If you were born, I'm telling you right now, bro, if you were born in a household that had no that had no father, bro, you're like 60% more likely to end up in prison. If by the third grade you failed your FCAT, you're like 75% more likely to go to prison. Like they have, these are real numbers, bro. I'm not making this shit up. Like you could go fucking look this shit up if you want to, but they have this calculated like statistical shit that it's like, they know what the, they... They can pretty much tell what the fuck somebody's gonna be doing by a certain age. Yeah, like for real, like, and it's crazy, but it happens. <coughs> like, I'm telling you, bro, prison cells the the number of prison cells are built off of third grade test test scores. Think about that. So they build the number of pri- the number of cells in a state. They build it off of how many third graders failed. I'm telling you, bro. And then after a while, it's like, like they just know it's like, oh, if in third grade you're already failing, that means that by sixth grade you're not really caring about school, which means that by eighth grade you're probably gonna be not going to school, which means by halfway through your high school career, you're probably gonna be committing crime. Like it's crazy, bro. But these statistics, bro, it, like most of the time when you're when you're born in certain situations, they could tell. Like they could tell what's gonna happen. And it sucks, but that's why it's up to you, bro. It's up to you. Like you can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't be fucking like, you can't be making up excuses and be like, oh, I, I you know, I don't have a chance because of this, because that's bullshit. Because I'm part of the statistics. Yeah, or something. that's like, bullshit. How about like, you, you could, beat it? You could be statistics. Yeah, you can. You know what I'm saying? You could be statistics. Like, statistically speaking, by 25, I was supposed to be either dead or in prison, according to my background and shit like yeah. that, and my parents' background and yeah. shit like that. I was supposed to be dead or in yep. prison two years ago. So you could fucking be statistics, bro. That shit's not, you know what I'm saying? But it's up to you. To not make certain decisions and not let certain shit influence you. Not really give a fuck what people think. Move your own way, bro. Move your own way. Everybody's in different shoes for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't in your shoes. So just move, you know what I'm saying? Move according to how it was best for you. Don't be a don't be a product of your environment unless it's like a positive environment. Like it's just simple as that. Like choose I mean, it's not it's easier said than done, but it's it's possible, man. Save up some money and leave. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes you're stuck in a city. You were born literally, you were born in a place where you don't have a choice until you're fucking 18 and you can save up money and go somewhere else. But don't get stuck in that. That's what happens. A lot of people grow up in that, and by the time they're 18, they're so comfortable around it. They're like, oh, fuck it. Like, this is just the way it is. And it's like, man, that's not the way it is. You could go over here and be a lot better off. You know what I'm saying? But... That's 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 deep, bro. That's deep. And you yeah, know, you, what know you know what's fucking deep. I'll tell you. No, what's okay. Deep. He got it. Got <laughs> I'll fucking he tell got, you what's deep. It. This fucking flat earth bullshit, bro. I'm yeah. so done with this horse shit. You take the lead. On yeah. This, man. Look, man. Like, so I was at my buddy's house the other day, or actually last night, and um, it was crazy. We were talking about just like the the world and, and the earth, and uh, one of my other buddies, he goes, "Hey, man, like the the world is flat," you know, and then he got mad. And he got upset. He's like, no, bro. Like, we went over this. This is not true. He had, <laughs> he had valid points, though. Because what I personally believe is, like, I, I feel like the Earth is round. Why? Because why would the other planets be round? Why are we, oh, like, if we were flat, and we're the only planet that's flat. So why isn't Mars flat? Why isn't Saturn flat? Why isn't, you know, any of these other planets flat? Pluto. We're able to see them from light years away. I don't even know if it's light years, but you guys get my fucking point. Yeah, nah, like, far as fuck. Far as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no fucking scientist here, but nah, we know it's fucking far. Like, Jesus, yeah, like, nah. come on, there's valid points here. Oh, well, you know, you go on an airplane and it's flat. I'm like, yeah, bro, but we're not high enough in elevation to see the whole fucking planet. And you don't have to be. There's fucking pictures of things that are. There's satellites up there for a reason, bro. They yeah. take pictures of the Earth 24 hours a day. Every couple minutes, they're taking a picture of the fucking earth. It's round, my guy. Yeah. And if you're like, oh, well, if you believe that bullshit, well, then do you believe the pictures you take off your phone? 
Like when you take a picture, did you now that picture's fake? Listen, you well, see what I'm saying? It's uh, like, come on, bro. Like the what earth I said, is fucking round. What I said was this is my opinion, but at the end of the day, we won't know unless we're an astronaut. Right. But they've said it's round. Yeah. <laughs> like well, I don't know. That's what, why I don't understand the argument, because there's actual facts. <coughs> yeah. Like there's scientific facts around this shit. It's not something that's like hard, like we've never been outer space. We've never looked at the earth from outside. Bro. Like, we got plenty of pictures of the Earth. We got, like, plenty of proof it's fucking round. It's not It's not really a debate. People, like, everybody, like, conspiracy theories I've noticed, like, there's some conspiracy conspiracies I believe in, bro. And I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. But then some people just take that shit way left. And, like, they don't believe anything. And that's dangerous. Because it's like, you don't believe nothing at all, bro. Like, everything's fake to you and everything is just bullshit and this. Like, that's a sad way to live, bro. Like now, The sad way to live is that, like, you know, I one of the guys mentioned, hey, man, well, God ain't real. You know, well, God ain't real. You know, if uh, and he started naming off like he had valid points, too, about like the Quran and, and, and how many different types of variations of the Bible there are right. and all this stuff. And I like me personally, like I read parts of the Bible. I'm not I'm not a guy that's like I'm not a pastor. You know, mm-hmm. I didn't read it from front to back, you know, so I couldn't sit there and argue about it. I just listen. Right. That's all I could do, because if I don't know it, then I'm not going to say anything. But but yeah, it was weird, bro. Like it. I, I believe in God, but it's just crazy that people are like, man, like, nah, like, but then the other guy was like, hey, man, like, there has to be somebody. They can't just be like, oh, there's nobody, you know, like, there has to be somebody that's higher up. And it's just, it's just human ego, bro. People are like, I've said it before. Like, most people are like, oh, well, you need to show me the proof. It's like, nigga, even if you were shown the proof, you'd, you be, like, believe you'd it. be like, oh, well, this is fucking fake. And yeah. this is, fu-. it's like, bro, it's okay. Like, yeah. you could believe, you, that's, that's exactly what God did. God gave us free will. So, bro, he gave you the will not to believe in him if you don't want to. And, like, you don't have to believe in him, bro. But yeah. it's, like, you don't have to believe that there's oxygen when you breathe. But yeah. it, it happens. Like, it fills your lungs and it keeps you alive. And you, you see what I'm saying? You like, know, you know what's wild too is that most people get they get proven with facts all the time and they still don't believe it. Like the like everything will be in front of their face and they still won't believe it. They'll be in denial. Facts. Like that's just what it is. Like it, you can have all the proof you want, you can have all the statements you want, you can have literally everything that makes it sense for it to be facts. And people still won't believe it. That's yeah, the, they'll that. question who it came from. Oh, well, what you know? What are your sources? Yeah. Well, the, oh, you you get your shit off Google, nigga. And that, the, that's at, not. It's like. And, and it's at the like, end of the day, oh what God, is the like, facts, right? At the end of the day, what is the facts? Who who said this is right and this is wrong? The smartest people in the fucking world that figured it out. Yeah. That's who, bro. Yeah. The smartest people in the world that figured it out. Like they, it's the thing is, bro. We got here as a collective, bro. It's been a lot of years, thousands of years of people doing research, collecting data, passing it down. Like most of the inventions from today, bro. This shit is shit that's been worked on for a long time. Like that's the electric thing. cars and shit. Like all this yeah. shit's been from a while, a while ago. ago. It didn't ago. just come up in the last five years. That's what people think, though. But Be, yeah, that's wild. bad for you to think that. Yeah, like, it's like this is we've back got in the- these technological advances, bro. Technological advances, bro. We've we've seen them coming from thousands of years ago, bro. Like it's not it's not a lot of new shit. So when people are like, oh well, it's like, bro, it's all the smartest people from thousands of years, all their shit put together in a collective, like. And you're you think your little fucking search is gonna contradict what they're saying? Like they figured it out. Like and there's shit that changes, you know, but as far as like going back to the, the flat earth thing, that's our that was our main point, bro. They've been figured that out. So for people to still be arguing it, bro, like you either just have way too much fucking free time and your mind wanders and you just have to fucking get fixated on something, or it's just like you really just don't believe in anything because they've been proved it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they have. They've been proved that shit. What the fuck? But it's just, you hey, know, listen, whatever. you have the right to believe what you want, bro. Again, if you want to believe it's flat, bro, you're not hurting nobody I'm not by gonna believing know. it's flat. Like, yeah, I'm not going to fucking know until I go out of fucking space. <laughs> At the end of the day, like, I'm just not going to, you know, I'm not going to know. But what I personally believe, like, to a certain extent, is that the world is kind of flat. Not flat. I mean, round. You know what I mean? Not hey, flat, bro. guys. 
Wrong. Again, again, if we're going to ignore the smartest people in the world, then, then the who book. the fuck are we going to listen to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we're going to go listen shit. to Belly Bob that yeah. can't fucking still put a radiator on a 73 fucking Chevelle and shit. Like, you would think when we really? pass that technology of like, man, like that's on the, that's like an argument a caveman would have. You know, the world's flat. No, the world's wrong. Well, bitch, have you left the cave? <laughs> How the fuck do you know? Like, get the bro, fuck out of here, bro. Like, that must have been You got to listen to the motherfucker that left the cave and is coming back like, yo, nigga, this shit's crazy out here. Like, going, that, going and you're telling down. him, nah, it's not real. It's not out there. Like, bitch, you didn't go where you went. Nah, bro, that must have been a time. The cave bro, man I'll time? tell you what. I'll bonk a fucking baby mammoth. <laughs> and I'm what? fucking cooking that bitch. Uh, some people tell me that dinosaurs were never real either. That they were just made up. And it was just like artificial, like bones and shit. Yeah, like people it. are saying, uh, listen, man, like, I feel like conspiracies were literally created by the government to hide the real conspiracies. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's real conspiracies. Yeah. Like, the JFK shit, the 9-11 shit. Like, there's, re- like, alien... Like, there's real conspiracies, and then there's just shit that they put out there. So, that people... Like, you could tell it's such bullshit that now you're like, all, all conspiracies are bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't know, bro. Like... If you're not doing the research yourself, your best bet is to fucking listen to somebody that is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's just the way that's just the way it goes. Bro. That's just the way it is, bro. And there's a lot of things that needs to be the way it is. Hey, I'll tell you what. Let me hear it. All right. Let me hear it. People need to start staying dangerous, motherfucker. Especially here. Yo, Everywhere. Look, man. In the States, bro. In the States, you know, in Europe, if you know, we got a lot of listeners from Europe, so shout out to y'all. Yeah, man, man. Round of applause. You know, we got we got we got people from Italy and shit like that. We got people from Germany. You know, what I mean, yeah. shout out to y'all that follow us on Instagram page. Um, I don't know if they they watch on the show, but you know, I'm pretty sure they they watch a lot on Instagram. So yeah. shout out to y'all. Shout bro. out to you. Any way you support, but, there's yeah. plenty of ways to support. Yeah, bro. So yeah, we're dangerous out here, man. Like especially nowadays, people don't care, bro. People are reckless. They don't they don't they don't have a conscience. You know, like like you said earlier. You know, there's a lot more evil than there is good. Yeah, people don't value life, man. Yep. That's really what it comes down to. They don't have a value of life. They don't really understand. Like, they just don't understand the consequences behind certain things, man. Like, things, things. People don't realize it till it happens, and then when it happens, you're just man, you you're fucked. You know what I mean? Like people, like the ment- the the mind is a very strong thing, mentally. So like when you do something or you or you go through something dramatic, it really changes you. Listen, man, there's, I mean, in my belief, bro, there's like, there's good and evil. There's good spirits and there's bad spirits, bro. And it's like, <clears throat> you let those bad spirits get a hold of you, bro. That shit, like, that shit can be dangerous. For real. Like, there's people out there doing crazy shit, bro. Crazy shit. And it's like, it's not even really who they are, bro, but it's, it's a mentality and it's a, it's a vibe that you get around that's like, it's dangerous, bro. Again, you gotta be you gotta be mindful of who you hang around, bro. You gotta be mindful of who you hang around, what you do, what they're into, the energy they carry. You know, there's people that carry a certain energy, bro. You just feel it. It's like, yeah, yeah. You ever been around those motherfuckers, bro? You just feel it. And you're like, man. Yeah, you're I, like, don't yo, even, I don't even want to shake. Your I don't hand, know. Bro. Yeah, I don't know what you're on, bro. Yeah. But there's some real negative around you. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, you know so saying? I'm gonna stay away from you, and I'm gonna keep my eyes on you. I'm not even gonna shake your hand, bro. Yeah, facts. And when you people don't realize Listen, when you shake hands, and vibrations you, you transfer. And energy. Yeah, yeah, vibrations you, and energy don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. You transfer energy. Like people need to like realize that, especially when you're having sex too. You know what I'm saying? You having sex with a negative girl. What mm-hmm. do you think's gonna happen to you? You're gonna become negative. That's just gonna transfer. Yeah, a you lot know what of I mean. Transfers. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. But. Most of the time, yeah, it does. Now, nah, if it's a partner that you're with regularly, bro, yes, you guys like that's why they say couples start like looking like each other after a while. I'm telling you, you're tr- you're literally transferring DNA back and forth. So yeah, like you start like Look acting at- a little more like each other, dressing a little more like each, having the like, same lingo. Yeah, yeah like yeah, it's yeah, just exactly. It's, it's just genetic. Like it's DNA, bro. Really, literally. Yeah, you know it makes but, you think, bro. That makes you think. Because some people be like, man, I don't understand it, bro. I don't understand why, man, all this negative shit happens to me, man. But you still putting up with this negative ass girl. You know what I'm saying? Going through shit. And she chooses that lifestyle or chooses, you know, the stuff that she's going yeah, Exactly. And, like, that's what's going to happen to you, bro. If you keep messing with that and you keep going. If you go with a positive girl that's, you know, she got goals. She got certain shit going on. She stays away from drama, negative shit. 
Then I'm yeah, pretty sure I that's I don't good. know, man. Women asking a woman to stay away from drama, bro, is like uh, there's a couple that I know. I don't know. There's a man. couple. Even they watch soap operas. They want to see that shit. I don't know. They want to see the fucking drama. Even if they don't want to be involved in it, I'm telling you, bro. They want to watch That's it. That's why they watch the they, soap they, opera. Yeah, They're like, oh, yeah. this but nigga the, Lewis is a piece of shit. But the thing he is, cheated on Martha. Yeah. And people, <laughs> yo, I used to watch fucking more. I'd be like, damn, bro, my dog got fucking hit in the head. <laughs> fucking his brother's fucking smashing his fucking girl for 16 years. His kid is not really his, it's his brother's. Like, what is going on? Like, you want to see that shit. Like, yeah, you know, it's just like, man, like, fuck it. It's a human thing, you know? Nah, like, thanks. like we laugh at other people's fucking... It's fuck, yeah, it's stu- funny. Like, yeah, we it's laugh. Funny. It's always funny until it happens to you, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, fuck, man. Like, damn, <laughs> bro, that shit really happened, bro. You know? And it's always like that, bro. Like, I always laugh at people falling and shit. Like, you oh, know, that dog. show. Like, yeah, like, yeah. we spoke about this a hundred times. We watched Ridiculous. It's been a while, but bro, yeah, that used that to be my, my shit. shit. And, nah, I'll uh, fucking die like I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. I don't care if but you if fall I, in front of me, bro, but, you're getting laughed at. But if I'm gonna make sure you're good. I always do, I promise. I always like help you up and but that whole time I'm laughing. Like I'm laughing while I'm asking you if you're alright. Like, you're all right? Oh damn, well bitch. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Watch your fucking step. Bro, like there, you, ever, you ever been in pain where you fell so hard that you just had a you got up and you just had to walk away and if somebody <laughs> talked to you, just get away. Don't even bro, I'm gonna punch you, bro. Just get away. That's how much pain I got. Oh fuck, that's crazy. You take a walk. When you like, take a walk. That was the time you fell out the club or some shit like that. Oh bro. You know that I hit my head so hard that bro. I never bro, I'm not gonna lie, that was the hardest I ever fell. <laughs> In my life I never I haven't fell that hard And no one saw me nah, that, but, but the only people That no, saw me bro. Were Ernesto and Jose And when they They're talking to me I'm sitting on That's the ledge tragic. And we're all sitting there Right We're in VIP We're chilling I got the bottle in my hand I got oh, I passed the hookah here I'm like we're talking Jose's right here Nesto is right here And I'm in the middle And I'm sitting on a ledge Next thing you know Bro I went to lean back To, to see You know what I'm saying just to see, just to see, just to look, take just a peek, just to look. I did a lean back, just to you know. I thought somebody, I thought something was there to hold my back. And your ass cheeks just slipped out bro, from my knee, bro. I literally <laughs> fell. next thing you know, I saw my feet up in the air like this, and I fell from like this height, bro. I'm not even from here to the ground. No, nah, yo, listen. So it he, wasn't that he's, high, but he's it not hurt. capping now. He's not capping now. But for like three months, bro, y'all can't even ask Toby. This nigga, would, bro, he would have told you. He fell from the top of a fucking house. <laughs> I nigga was like, oh, like ten feet up, bro. That I was like, nigga, like- if you would have fell from ten feet up, you. You'd not I, be talking to me right that, now. That, yeah, that <laughs> shit felt like I fucking had a concussion, bro. I hit my head so hard. I got up so quick that it was like I bounced. Yeah, that's how hard Damn, my adrenaline hit. Bounced and fucking, and I got back up. And then I was just like, <laughs> and when I got back up, but the thing was, it wasn't like that. Like I, I laid there and I looked up like in disbelief. <laughs> And no, Jose, Jose and Nesto grabbed me so quick. It was the quickest thing I've ever fucking seen. It looked like I just jumped back there to grab my phone. Like I dropped it and came back up. And they helped me back up. <laughs> and when I came back up, bro, I saw the first thing I did. I saw that we were in the section and there was a <laughs> bottle of liquor. I grabbed the bottle of liquor and I chugged it because I hurt so fucking bad. And I put it back down. I looked at him and they're like, you're all right, bro. And he's like, no one saw that. And I was like, yeah, I nah, know. But my neck peach right now. Bro. Is on fire. I said I don't even want to. I, I don't even want to move. No, no, bro. That's you, how much you need pain. A little I'm, bit of alcohol. Yeah. So I took a couple shots. The next day, we laughed so hard because I was drunk, you know. <laughs> and I laughed so fucking hard, bro. And that's a story I'll never forget, bro. I hit. That was the hardest I ever hit my head, yeah, bro. That bro. I felt like I had a goose. I had a goose egg on the back of my fucking. Yo, shit. we all take some tumbles. Yeah. You know how for I you. Tell, no, no, no. This no, motherfucker no. I'll never tell falls. you one. I got a story for you oh, right yeah, now. Oh, You've yeah. never heard it. <laughs> Nah, bro, listen. It was one time I was helping Pedro move, right? He was moving, to, you know what I'm saying? His family was moving from one house to another. And I was helping him. So we go, we do a few rounds. We get back to Pedro's house to pick some more shit up. Me, Pedro, and his brothers are in the back of the back of the truck, pickup truck. We get to the house, bro. I get out. Like, I go to jump over the fucking, like, I put my foot up. I go to jump over. Bro, slip. Do a front flip. Kick fucking Pedro on the back of his head, nigga, and fall straight on my fucking bed. Like from the back of the truck. Damn. <laughs> Yo, Pedro was left. Nah. Nah, bro. 